Wilma Baron. Skipper 1571-1630 German. Is a formulated the three law supplementary motion. Kepler was a German mathematician, astronomer, and astrologer, and a key figure in 17th century astronomical revolution. He is known for his law of elementary motion, which provided one of the foundation of the act Newton's law of universal gravitation. The first law is law of orbits. All planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus. So the earth orbits the sun by following an elliptical path and the sun is at the focal point of that ellipse. The same is true for a satellite traveling around of the earth. An ellipse is an oval geometric shape with the two focus. Second law state that the obtaining satellite will speed up when it gets closer to the object of the focus. This is a caused by increased effect of gravity on the obtaining object as it gets nearer to what pulling it into the orbital path. The time necessary to travel any arc of the planetary orbit is a proportional to the area of the section between the central body and the arc or area law. Third law states that the relationship is the period time squared is proportional to the radius of the path cube. We have an example of law of period. Ricardo Sandoval. Good day to all of you. Today I will discuss three Kepler's law of motion. First, I will discuss the Johannes Kepler. He discovered the orbit of planet or ellipsoidal circle with the sun located at one fixed point called focus. He also calculated the period of revolution of planet as well as the speed of the revolution of the planet. Kepler explained that a certain time of planet come near the sun or perihelion when this happened. The planet are further from the sun or aphelion, they move slower than this one. The second law of motion, each planet moves so that in the Larry line drawn, drawn from the sun to the planet ship of equal areas in equal time. Now the last law of motion, this is described as the further away a planet is from the sun, the longer it takes for the orbit, and the closer planet is to the sun, the quicker it orbits. It also states the square of the period. It is proportional to the cube of major axis of the orbit. That's all. Thank you. I hope you learned this. This is Record Your Reason Novel. Good day. Rosemary I will going Velasco. to discuss the three laws of Kepler's about planetary motion. First is, is the law of orbits. Kepler's first law states that all planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus. states that every planet moves along an ellipse with the sun located at, at a focus of the ellipse. The orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one focus. An ellipse is described by two axes. The, the long semi-major and the short sem, semi-minor. A path connecting the two foxy to the ellipse always has the same length with, with an ellipse. Larger distance also gives slower space speed. Larger radius orbit means slower speed. Second is the law of areas. States that a line that connects a planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal time. Second law is law of areas. It states that a line that connects a planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times. Kepler's second law, a planet is a moving fastest when it is a perihelion and slowest at aphelion. The line joining a planet and the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal time. Orbital period, larger radius. Orbit means longer period. When an ellipse, a larger semi-major axis also gives a longer period. Third law is law of period. It states that the square of the period of any planet promotional to the cube of semi-major axis of its orbit. Third law implies that the period of 
for our planet to orbit the sun and increase rapidly with the radius to the of the orbit. Third law and his theories were crucial in the better understanding of our solar system, dynamics, and the springboard approximate our planetary orbits. The square of a planet period is proportional to the cube of the planet of the orbit semi-major axis. 12 slash R3 constant. The constant is the same for all objects orbiting the sun. The time for one orbit is one period. My own Daniel. from I'm here to explain about what is the Kepler's law of planetary motion and the three laws. Kepler's law of planetary motion. In astronomy and classical physics, laws describing the motions of the planets in the solar system. They were derived by the German astronomer Johann Kepler, whose analysis of the observation of the 16th century Danish astronomer. Tycho Brahe enabled him to announce his first two law in the year 1609, and a third law nearly a decade in 1618. First, the law of orbits. It states that all planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus. The first law, the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one focus. An ellipse is described by two axes. First, long semi-major and second, short semi-minor. A path connecting the two foci to the ellipse always has the same length within an ellipse. Larger distance also gives lower speed. Larger radius orbit means lower speed. Second, loss of areas. States that aligns that connects a planet to the sun sweeps out of equal areas in equal times. Kepler's second law, a planet is a moving fastest when it is a perihelion and slowest as a perihelion. The line adjoining planet and the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal time. Larger radius orbits means longer period. Within an ellipse, a larger semi-major axis also gives a longer period. Third, law of fear states that the square of the period of any planet promotional to the cube of semi-major axis of its orbit. Third law implies that the period for the planet to orbit the sun increase rapidly with the radius of the orbit. Third law and his juries were crucial in the better understanding of our solar system dynamics and as a springboard approximate our planetary orbits. T2 are three constant. The constant is the same for all objects orbiting the sun. The time for one orbit is one period.